Welcome back to the Irish Banking Culture Board launch of the Decide Decision Making Framework. I hope you all had a nice break. Our next session this morning is a panel and our guests are going to talk a little bit more about what we've heard so far today and then you will have a chance to ask your questions. So please send in your questions using the Q&A button on the side of your screen and we'll do our best to get to them. Now I'd like to introduce you to our panel. It's being chaired by Blonid Clark, Professor of Corporate Law at Trinity College Dublin, and she's joined by Peter Rubin, CEO of KBC Bank Ireland, Mr. Justice John Hedigan, Chairman of the IBCB, Mary Rose McGovern, Deputy Financial Services and Pensions Ombudsman, and John O'Connell, Secretary General of the Financial Services Union. Blonid we have so following on from Professor Flynn's presentation do you think it's easy to be the dissenting opinion in the room I'd say the answer to that is always going to be no but there's an interesting uh, follow-up to that how can bank leaders ensure that employees will raise concerns even in circumstances where those concerns may subsequently prove to be unrealized and I think that was something that came up a lot during the co-create sessions you know how people can make a decision in good faith but it may actually turn out to be wrong so for example we've seen even with COVID how advice has changed say on the wearing of masks as the advice has or as the information we have about uh, masks has changed you know but original decisions are made based on available information so how can the leadership ensure that it's still okay to be that person saying no and not get scapegoated or stigmatized for it? 